Hello friends. I study and research audio science at the Center for Computer Research in Music and Acoustics at Stanford University. And I am going to be reviewing and analyzing Critical's new budget IM, the Truth Ear Zero Blue 2. Starting off with the magnitude response measurement versus the PEC dB IE target, well, what is the PEC dB IE target? Essentially, PECDB used a similar methodology to Harman, but did it 100 times better and tested thousands of people on the internet to find what the ideal magnitude response target curves are for all kinds of different headphones, and for in-ears we use the PECDB IE target. And when you compare the Zero Blue 2 to this target curve, you can see that it's way too overemphasized in the sub-bass is lacking a bit in the ear gain and has horrendous treble quality. You can see that below 100 hertz, it's way too high above the target, and then between like 500 and 1,500 hertz, it's way below the target, and between 1,500 and 3,000 hertz, it's also way below the target, so it's not going to sound like it has much clarity in vocals, and the treble is where it's really bad because this is difficult to EQ. There's a huge dip after eight kilohertz, a major spike at like 13 kilohertz, then 15 kilohertz. So it's gonna sound very low detail and harsh. So, you know, as a Stanford audio engineer, this is not high enough quality for me to recommend. Um, at Stanford, we only use the highest quality equipment and to give an example of that, I'll pull up the Moondrop Variations. You can see that the Moondrop Variations has way too much sub-bass and it's a bit excessive at around 1300 Hz. But other than that, the treble response is way better than the Zero Blue 2. It does not have these huge peaks in the upper treble and has better treble extension, so it's going to sound more clear, natural, not harsh, and it's very easy to EQ the lower frequencies. So yeah, the Zero Blue 2 is just not high enough quality for a Stanford audio engineer to use, and it's just very low quality. And it's supposed to be closer to the Harman IE 2019 target curve, but as you can see here, it actually appears further from the target curve than the original zero. Um, yeah, Krinkle's measurement rig is very inaccurate and he's using that as a reference for the Harman target, but the Harman target was made on a more accurate rig. So, I mean, regardless, the Harman target is very outdated. Um, we can compare it to the PECDB IE target and see that the Harman IE 2019 target has too much sub bass, it's too thin in the lower mids. People always complain that the Harman IE 2019 target is too thin, and we address this with our target curve with the most advanced sound quality personalization machine learning algorithm. And it's too shouty. People always complain about this five kilohertz. Even Critical says this himself. And after 10 kilohertz, it's too dark and rolled off. Everyone talks about these things. And if Critical really wanted to make a the best budget IEM, he would comply to the PEC DB IE target because it is the scientifically best in your target curve. But yeah, as a Stanford audio engineer, um, yeah, the Truth Ear Zero Blue 2 should be a pass because it is just very low quality.